lakini mwenye haki wangu ataishi kwa nini naye akisita sita roho yangu haina furaha naye unapoanza kuvipiga vita vizuri vya imani unapoanza kusita sita Mungu anakosa furaha na wewe na furaha ya Mungu and the rejoice of god ni nguvu zetu is our power unatokaje sasa how can you come out there anasema ukisita sita he said once you are hesitated ukiona uko kwenye maisha ya wokovu if you see you in the life of salvation maisha ya imani the life of faith lakini unateswa na roho ya kusita sita you are afraid with a manake kuna kitu umepungukiwa so, na wala umbo kwenye safari ya kupiga vita mzuri hatupasi kusita sita we are not supposed to be hesitated hatupasi kuogopa we are not supposed to be scared anasema mtu akisita sita kuna watu vipawa vyao vinikufa kwa sababu ya kusita sita neema walizokuwa nazo zikaondoka kwa sababu ya kusita sita unafika unapita mahali ambapo unaanza kuona kana kwamba Mungu si kama yupo hapa si kama yupo hapa baadaye unaanza kutafuta sijui ni nini nimepoteza ni kama kuna kitu akijakaa vizuri kile kilichokusumbua ni kusita sita kuna watu viwango vyao vya kiroho adui anatumia njia ya kusita sita vinashuka kusita sita hapo chini na mzee anasema sisi hatumo miongoni mwao and tu hujaanza kuvipiga vita vizuri vya imani kama hujaingizwa hujamizwa na kitu kinachokuitwa kutembea katika imani you haven't fight a good fight of the faith if you are not immersed of something called to Anasema, walk he said mtu akisitasita when a person is hesitated roho yangu my soul haina furana is not happy with him na ukisha sitasita unapigwa na roho ya hofu and once you hesitated the fear spirit has hofu inakuvaa a fear is attacking you umeokoka lakini unateswa na roho ya hofu you are born again but you have a fight with the fear spirit unajua kuvipiga vita vizuri vya imani you don't know how to fight a good battle of the faith kitasa sana immerse yourself kwenye imani in the faith andiko lingine ambalo la hatari sana kwa habari ya safari ya imani kuvipiga vita vizuri vya imani na imani yenyewe ni andiko naosema hivi maana pasipo imani haiwezekani kumpendeza Mungu. Kwa maombi yasiyo na imani, so the prayer without faith are nothing. Sadaka zisizo na imani, a sacrifice without our faith. Ibada zisizo na imani, service without faith. Hata unafikia kwenye ibada hii hujategemea chochote, huamini chochote, huamini hata kama utamwabudu Mungu na ibada zingine ili ziwe na nguvu lazima itoke wapi? Moyoni. Ibada yoyote unayoingia hakikisha kuna kitu umekisikia moyoni mwako. And it's heavy to you attend make sure that there's something that's going to be heard. Make sure that you feel something in your heart. Akikisha unasikia kitu ndani ya moyo wako. Kama ni kwenye kumwabudu Mungu umesikia. If you worship God. Kama ni kwenye neno umesikia. If the word you hear. Sehemu lazima usikie kitu ndani. Nje ya hapo. Out of there. Unapoteza muda tu. You wasting your time. Pasipo imani. Without faith. Haiwezekani. It's not possible. Kumpendeza Mungu. Huduma nyingi zimekwama. Many ministers are being. Maisha ya wokovu ya watu wengi yamekwama. Many salvation of people are being. Sawa ya Mr. Sita. Because of his teaching. Nampenda sana Yoshua. I love the Lord Joshua. Anasema Mr. Sita Sita. Katika njia mbili hata leo. Kama huyu ndiye Mungu mwabuduni. Lakini kama ni Baali muende kwa Baali. If it's a God who God. Watu wanasema hatuna Mungu mwingine zaidi ya Mungu huyu. Mungu wako ndiye atakayekuwa Mungu wetu. Amen. Tatu na mwisho. And the Lord kama unataka kuvipiga vita vizuri vya imani na kumaliza good... kuna kitu kinaitwa matumaini there's something called hope matumaini hope hiki kilimsaidia paulo this how paul wakati anataka kuvipiga vita vizuri vya imani anasema na iendea media ya nini i'm going to a to that means ni nafsi yenye kutarajia kitu it means this... kuna tofauti kati ya imani na kutumaini nitasema wakati mwingine lakini unatakiwa ujue tu kwamba kuna kitu kinaitwa matumaini ndio maana Yesu alipokuwa anaondoka alituachia kitu tutakacho kitumaini anasema naenda kwa baba kuandalia makao nitakapokuepo na ninyi muepo kwa hiyo tunapokuja na kumwabudu Mungu tunajua ya kwamba tuna nafsi zetu zinatarajia kukaa pamoja na Mungu ukijua hivi vitu vitatu utavipiga vita vizuri vya imani if you know okay. the watu wananiambia mtumishi unamaanisha nini wewe baba ngoja ni kuonyesha andiko linatisha sana kitabu cha Wakorinto wa kwanza sura ya 13 13 namalizia hapo hapo basi anasema Paulo basi sasa inadumu moja taja moja nini imani. inadumu imani 
tumaini upendo haya matatu kwa tafsiri nyingine ukitaka kuvipiga oh my god i don't know have people here yes. ukitaka kuvipiga vitu vita vizuri vya imani vinadumu vitu vingapi Vitacho. Namba moja anasema sasa Faith. inadumu Now, imani Faith. tumaini Hope. na upendo And haya love. matatu na katika hayo ni upendo umeona tumaini linatajwa hapo likitofautishwa na imani tafsiri ya tumaini ni nini the meaning of hope my is god huwezi kuvipiga vita vizuri vya imani ukamaliza kama una tumaini you cannot fight a good battle of the faith and finish if you tumaini ni nafsi yenye matarajio mema kuhusu mambo yajayo hope is a soul that's deep imani ni uhakika wa mambo yajayo lakini tumaini unatarajia Unaamini kwamba kuna siku nitakana Bwana. Unaamini kwamba kuna siku Mungu atabadilisha haya maisha. Ndio maana maandiko yanasema wamtumainie Bwana ni kama mlima Sayuni, hawatatikisika wakaa hata milele. Mando kosa kabaraka tosi ya mai. Haiwezekani kuvipiga vita vizuri vya imani kama haya mambo matatu au una. One love, two faith, three hope. 